Listen, I, I, I've been wanting to play this on stream. I did one, I did the first level, but just because I wanted to see what it was like. So I know how to solve it, but you know, I'll, I, I won't, I won't do it right away. I'll let you guys think it out. Okay. Are you going to screen share it or? Yeah. I'm going to okay. screen share it on Discord so you don't have to do stream delay. Nine, oh God, this is zero escape. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Oh my gosh! Shut up, Lofi Beats. We don't want you anymore. Turn that shit how off. How good now. are you on? How good are you in escape room, Bud? Um. Well, considering I'm still stuck in the cage, probably not good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm tabbed out, so it's not gonna continue doing anything. But <laughs> it'll it'll restart again. You're you're not frozen, guys. Don't worry. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, you should be able to see it. Let me know. There we yeah. Go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna delete this save. She's not real. <laughs> Alright, let's start. Are you sure you want to save here? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Belle, I know we saw how that went. <laughs> it's fine, though, it's fine. There are two modes, novel and adventure. I didn't even get to read what else that's in. Okay, rush oh, ship. Loud. Holy shit. <laughs> was it? A loud noise. My, mine it was. Oh. <laughs> A loud noise startled Junpei awake, and his eyes snapped open. Stop! My controller keeps fucking disconnecting. Oh, help me. Eh. Hold on. I need a new controller so bad. <laughs> what? what the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't. Ow. Oh, God. <laughs> With a crack, Junbei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out a hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. Uh, what? Whoa! His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? A bed? Ah, that fell pretty far. <sighs> that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. Uh, an earthquake. Uh, but it it's shaking too fast for that. How is the voice acting both good and bad at the same time? <laughs> uh, anyway. Maybe he's kind of new to voice acting. Who knows? Because, like, when he's saying stuff, I'm like, it sounds good. I'm like, okay, but and then, but there's just something about it that seems slightly off. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this is old. Oh, okay. Probably why. Where am I? Wait, it, it stopped? What's that sound? That's that. God damn it! Eh. 
Once again, my controller being a bit- Five? Five. What's this five mean? <laughs> like it's good voice acting, but it sounds like voice acting. Exactly. You know, I feel like that is probably it. Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh, is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! Open the door! <sighs> Open the door! Huh? What the hell is this? A watch? The bomb! It doesn't look the like The bomb! One. Five. That's... That's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing it's something on this will work? <laughs> it looks like the fucking watch from Ben 10. <laughs> Whoa. Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. All right, how, and how are you going to force it off, really? He's like, I'm going to pull on it with my manly strength. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am off. I here? You got your hand off? Why would I do that? Why? Saw. What the hell happened to me? That's that's thinking we even have a saw. Oh, ah, my head. Huh. Jump scare. <laughs> Jump scare. This is. Hold on. Am I on a ship? Am I flying on a ship? I can't see anything. <laughs> Becomes a Saw movie. Doesn't everything, though? If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Oh. What the? Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. What the, what the hell is going on here? Oh. Uh, I'm on the yeah. time limit. Hell? God damn it. Technically. Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, I need to find a way out and fast. When I heard that, is that not the fucking Somnium file sound when they show the locks? I love <laughs> I love when game studios just reuse sounds. <laughs> It's like, well, I mean, it's already yours. Might as well, might as well, right? Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal? Search around to uncover how to unlock it. There are items and hints in the rooms that will help you escape. Use the cursor to select a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use L1 or R1 to walk around the room. Left stick controls. Move left stick during an escape to use the cursor. Press square to speed up the movement. Press X to search where the cursor is placed. Okay, sounds good. So we got window. I think obvious first choice is over here. And also, mm -hmm. you guys, you guys are allowed to backseat. That's why you're here. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, you said you played this roundabout, right? Yeah, but so that's why that's why you guys can hop in. <laughs> okay. So we just got this. It's got okay. red and blue triangles and different angles, I guess. <laughs> different sides or whatever. Okay. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Press up arrow to quickly change between items. So that's in this corner. I only have this one item though. Yeah. Put this as well. Picture frame. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. There's screws keeping the back on. We okay. on the Titanic. Dude, we're so, so Titanic coded. Okay. Is there anything else we want to look at over here? Will you t touch the tap or not? Oh, oh the tap. I thought you said towel. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. There's a towel next to the sink. Let me touch the sink. Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. This is the only drain in this room. Alright. Left or right? 
Uh, right. Okay. There's bunk beds, a suitcase, this suitcase. thing. Suitcase, okay. Whoa. No dice, it's locked tight. Okay. Let's oh. see if there's <clears throat> anything in the keyhole. No, the small keyhole. If I want to open the briefcase, I need to fill it up with a key. That's such a weird way to put that. <laughs> need mm -hmm. to fill it up with a key. Hello? <gasps> Hello, Angel. I welcome in. Matt, I'm gonna go grab some chocolate and grapes. Yo, I want grapes. Okay, do you want to get the kettle? Let me put the kettle on, love. Ooh, there's a key in here. A key. Well, let's see if there's anything in here. Huh. Looks like there is. Obviously. Obviously, we want to grab this shit. A key? Yep, that's a key, all right. A little blue one. The key is pretty small. Definitely not for a door. What's it for, then? The key is blue. Is it supposed to open something else blue? I'm assuming that... that you know, that's directly being like, hey, you know that blue case you just saw? Yeah. <laughs> here, let me ch let's check this while I'm here, too. This is the door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure wish the door to get out of here was that easy to open. Oop. Eh. Well, that solves the mystery of whether or not this stove has ever been used before. What's this? It looks red. Screwdriver. <gasps> a normal screwdriver. Doesn't seem to be any doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Oh, can you unscrew the picture? I remember it saying like you can I try it out. It. Well the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough, and here's the picture. Picture of an old cruise liner. <gasps> Ooh, there's symbols on the back. Oh uh I guess se seven something. Seven, four, six, three. Yeah. And then I'm guessing that's the suitcase now? Yeah, suitcase number. Okay, remember, remember that number. I we already come, that. we already come out. 94, 63? It, it started with seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we can look again it, in a minute. 7463, I think. Yeah. That's what Kylie said. Okay. Uh, yeah, and we have to keep her. Yeah. Let's go. Sorry, I didn't even read what that said. But we put it in and it said, and nothing. I guess I'm going to need some sort of code for the dial. Mini games. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by using L and X. Some minigames will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or press the right thing. Operation instructions. Pressing the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Enter four numbers this way and then press the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. Okay. Okay, seven, four? Four, six, six three. three. Yeah. Nope. Oh. So we're oh. missing something. Let's let's look around more. Birthday bash. We are birthday and bashing, and we're bashing open this fucking lock. <laughs> Damn it! Open you stupid thing. I don't think it's gonna open if I whack on, whack it on the wall a couple times. Might make me feel better. Not gonna help though. All right, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some more clues. Shall I... Shall I check these beds? Can you check under them? Let me see. It's the middle bunk of the bunk bed. It sure is! There's a pipe at the other end of the bed. There's nothing up there on the top. Can we check this one or does it go... There's a brief... Oh, sorry. A blue briefcase on top of the bed. There sure is. Okay, there's nothing in there. Let's just move around the room. Can I open these? Ooh, red one. Oh, it's a red one. Which, I, I don't have a red key, so I'm not even- FBI, open ah! up! FBI, open up! <laughs> why are you- Why am I getting FBI opened up? Thank you, Ken. <laughs> okay. 
We're back over here. You go to like the door. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. Okay. Do you want me to check the door first over here? Maybe bed. that weird, weird thing next to the. Oh. That, that, could, that works too, yeah. I guess that's a lever, huh? Maybe if I pull it? Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red and the display hasn't changed. Damn it. Why the hell isn't this thing opening? I guess we don't have what it takes. Five. Five, huh? What does that mean? Five. Real <laughs> quick. You know that? Yeah, that. This? The, yeah. Oh, oh, it's a mirror. Oh, there's a key. Yeah. Small red key. Technically, small key in parentheses. Red. Oh my god, I forgot I had my drink. No. Hold on to this key. You know, I, I think I will. Huh. Oh, what's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the oh. hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... And? Didn't mean to redeem it twice, don't worry, don't, I'll refund you. Don't reminisce it! Sorry, hold on, sorry. Sorry, I'm just, you know, being a good streamer and, re and returning points to, to one of my... One of my followers. <laughs> FBI open up? Oh, they won't let me. Don't worry. Yeah. Next one's on the house. You tell me you want to redeem an FBI and I'll redeem it on myself. <laughs> I'm back. Not like anyone will respond. Oh, damn. He's He's Are got a bad single? home life. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. See, my paranoid ass, I'd have been like, oh my god, somebody's in my apartment. But maybe that's just because I think like a woman. What? Oh. Uh. Who are... <laughs> it's like the Squid I, Game, for I real can't. Is it Squid Games? <laughs> it might just be. I'm literally getting like. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. Might actually be Squid Game. You might have been right. <laughs> the Nonary Game. Oh no, sorry, it's the Nonary Game. My it fault. It's a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. <laughs> He's a, He said feminism. He's Just like, that could have been a woman who, who gassed me out and dragged me here. They said, you have been chosen. See you later, Angel. Thanks for stopping by. Bye -bye. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. What would you do if this was you? Die. I'll think about my life choices. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game. Huh. Ro is literally gonna die and he's thinking like... <laughs> Listen, you can't help it when you get in your own head. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! <laughs> I would simply decide to die. See, the thing is, like, I wouldn't want to die like this, though. Drowning sucks. Oh, wait, you know how there's different colors? Like, the red and blue. Maybe one of the... Half of it's the red, for the red, so we need to find the other side. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think the only thing we haven't checked is these other bunk beds. Yeah. I, uh... Hmm, well, I can reach this bunk. Might as well look through it. Huh. Damn. Nothing here. Okay, what about this one? Ooh. I can't bring myself to call this a bed. It feels like a board with a sheet on it. 
It's pretty flat. Oh. There's a second half. Yeah. Okay. But now, which one's first? I guess this one's you first. These it's <laughs> above the other one. Yeah, can you combine them? Let me see. No. Blue. Okay. So, I'm guessing we can do the blue one. So it's like square. Mhm. Mm oh, here. Let me click on this. Oh, okay. So it'll be zero. Two six three. Try. We could try that. Okay. Zero two six three. Oh. Eh. Give me that dead briefcase. Okay, zero. Two. two six three. Yeah. Oops, god damn it, I passed it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, we got it. Alright, yeah. let's see if these numbers work. A turn of the key and hey, it's working. Yes! Alright, let's open it up. <laughs> no, <laughs> imagine we just die, end of game, credits roll. Yes! It opened! Looks like there's something in here. What is it? A file? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file screen. Press left. Right, actually, right. <laughs> to open the file screen. All right, let's see what's in this file. Hmm, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in a, in questions to one another. If you end up with another with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, Add the numbers in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. Example, the digital root of six, seven, eight would be six plus seven plus eight equals 21. So you do two plus one equals three. Therefore, the digital root of 678 is three. Example, the digital root of 1,234 would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which equals 10. So you do 1 plus 0, which would be 1. Therefore, the digital root of that is 1. I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a digital, a single digital number. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, and a calculator. And a stack of key cards, huh? Okay, so we got it stack of blue key cards looks like some key cards there's a number written on each card six seven eight does that mean something oh. okay new material has been added to the file screen calculator press left to open the calculator screen we have a calculator you guys we don't have to do it ourselves yeah let's go like, yippee my internet would be too crap and I'd lag out like in every other game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three. Okay. Well, we have the red key, so let's go to the red. Uh. I don't know what the numbers are. It's just like that blue briefcase. Yep, there's a lock on this one too and it's not opening. Okay, let me put the key in and then we can look at the uh, code again. That's right, stick the red key in there. Eh, it's not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Listen, we know that we have to put it in the code. Stop playing with me. Oh. Relax, relax. Oh. Oops. Oh. Yeah, give me a second. <laughs> You're like, damn. Oh. Damn. I want to know at the end of at least this part first. Jesus. There we go. Okay. Uh, so it's... 7, 4, 8, 5. 7, 4, 8, 5. Yes. Oh. 
<laughs> it's a closet. Let me in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seven. Four. four eight, eight. Five. Yes! I unlocked it. Yeah. It's opening. Stack of red key cards. These look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, three. Cool. Oh. I'm gonna quickly go brush my teeth. I'll be right back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think this. These cards with number on them. It, I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Alright, let's slide these cards and see if they work. And... Huh? It's not working? Why? Mom, well, because they don't like you. Damn it. No. No. Th that's right. I still have cards I haven't used. Eh, eh. <laughs> These ones. Damn it. Not again. You only put one number in? What are you talking about? No, what? I it go it, he put in all the cards he had. Oh. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Of course. These files. That file said something about a digital root. A digital root. A digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... There was a five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? I'm not really sure about this. Ah, whatever. It's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. Operating instructions. Okay. This is a root. Okay, okay, let's go back. We have a calculator. Leave me alone, Junpei. I need my silly little calculator. Oh, yeah. This is math. There we go. So basically, right, we have the cards. Oh, I see. One, two, three, and six, seven, eight. So we can't use four, five, nine, or zero. So don't even look at those. Okay, right, so, so one, two, three, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah. Eight so minus. Two six minus one is five. So what numbers do you want me to put in? Eight minus two minus one. No, listen. With digital roots, you add them. So like with six, seven, oh, eight. Oh, we have to do it out. See, like, oh, hold on, my fucking control just connected. So the digital root of six, seven, eight is three. Because you do six plus seven plus eight, and you get enough. I think it was twenty-one. And then you have to add two and one, and you get three. You have to go until you get a single digit number. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. Do, do one, two, three. I just want to see the digital root so I can do this math in my head. Six. Six. Because you do one six. plus two yeah. plus three. You do six. Eight plus seven was 15, plus six was 21. Three. Okay, so look for something that adds up to five. So okay. Yeah. Um. And you you can like add so because uh whatever answer you get from the original three, if it's not a single digit, you have to add those digits until you get a single. Oh, I digit. got it. Yeah. Six seven one. Thank you. You're right. <laughs> oh my god, he knows math, you guys. Okay, six seven one. Keep that in your head. We gotta use those cards and slide them in. Six, seven, one. Go. All right, I think this is gonna work. There we go. That's a new noise. Huh. Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red and now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. Eh. Let's go. Let's get out of here. We escaped this room. Yippee! All my fellas. All my fellas. 
Oh my goodness. Whoa! Yeah, damn. Uh, my head. Wait, is it is it over? Nope. Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Like it's literally yeah. just the beginning. <laughs> That's literally me. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Damn this water. Ugh. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Yes, it opened. What? What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? That looks like the Titanic, honestly. <laughs> well, listen, who is to say we are on the Titanic right now? <laughs> who is to say this didn't happen? <laughs> well. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Uh... Titanic. Wait, what the hell? A wave? <laughs> oh shit! Shit! Okay, I I gotta get out of here. Sea <laughs> <C> deck. <laughs> B deck. Hurry! Hurry! Water cannot rightfully trap you if you do not give consent. <laughs> A deck's next. <laughs> Period. What? Who are these people? People. A lot of people. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer. No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Damn, where's your clothes? <laughs> I don't know. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> One of us, huh? We're, what? Nothing. One Going up won't us. do you any good. One there are two us. doors, but neither One of them will of open. Us. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Well, you know, the name of this game is... is nine... nine doors, nine persons, nine rooms, or something like that. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man no like a lion, him? a girl with pink hair, and I a know. prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Like, if they're running from up there, then whatever's up there you don't want to be with. Huh? Uh-huh. <sighs> uh -huh. Hello? Can one of you say something? Ah. <laughs> what was that all about? Hey! Michael what the hell Jackson. are you just standing there for? Michael You're Jackson. What? <laughs> <laughs> we we escaped the room. And we've met eight other people. Or seven. Oh. One of them's called Mountain. No, Great that's just what we're that's just what we're calling them. We haven't gotten their names yet. Oh. Didn't you hear them? Uh -huh. The doors on A deck are no good. Well, what's wrong with them? The doors on B deck. Got it? Now go. Whoa. Hey, man, that was dangerous. Huh? Four? And this one says five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. Yeah, me too. You too, eh? Yeah. My cell was the same. A number upon the door. Wait, so were there only ever nine of us? Or like, what if there's people who couldn't oh, get their door open? Are they just dead? I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of Maybe. stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. M me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. 
Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <sighs> Open! Damn it! What's he doing on the Fuck, door? It's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. A metal door. Why not try to do a wooden part? It'll be much easier to break. <laughs> because these people are dumb. <laughs> Body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. Oh, do we have to slide cards again? So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... You knew that's not gonna work. Why'd you even try? Uh, damn it! Are there any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. Oh my god, it's a girl. <laughs> it was a girl. <laughs> she looked to be the same age as Junpei. Oh no. Oh no. I know it. I know. <laughs> I know a lover when I see one. That's definitely our love interest. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Uh. Huh? Without saying a word, Junpei walked slowly towards her. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stepped on onto her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. <gasps> the quake caught the girl unprepared and she fell. Watch out! I mean, Moving on that? instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. <laughs> Her face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches from his own yeah. face. <laughs> he was flat on his back, and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face suggested she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her oh mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Jumpy? It's a terrible nickname. Jumpy. Jumpy? Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. Uh, Akane... Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd thought long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. <laughs> as they always do. He could feel his face heating up. At that moment... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we remembered that we were in Squid Game. <laughs> what? What's that voice? <laughs> this is. Yeah, that seems about right. That guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. Yeah, he's 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 dead first for sure. 
Good night, Dex. Good night, Dex. Thanks for stopping by. I hope your sleep goes well. Good night, Bong. Thank you. What do you mean to do to us? Thank God they have the fucking subtitles because I would be like, huh? What do you say? Okay, well, like, when did I consent to this? Nonary game. Yeah, you know. What the hell's that? Did none of us check our pockets? <laughs> what is he talking about? Girl doesn't even okay. have pockets. I know, There's like, where, where is hers pocket. hidden? Check this out. Between her titties? Probably. Hey, guys, I got one too. Thinking too. <laughs> <laughs> then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Is it is it the same or different? Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? I guess not. On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Bell. <laughs> Bell said, why did I turn up turn my volume up just to hear titties? Excuse me. <laughs> Listen, we were we were saying that like she might have had the rules hidden there. The doors in front of any you other are a pair of the same. Uh -huh. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Oh, so it's okay. Hello, moons. <laughs> Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Oh. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. That's what I was thinking. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who oh. enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Oh. So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Okay. Leave this ship alive. <gasps> Happy birthday, thank you. We're we're doing an escape room. I have Bod and Kylie here to to help me because I'm so stupid. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. We are in the in the helper streaming though. Seek mm -hmm. a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Okay. This is so fucked up. <laughs> oh, Titanic. Titanic mention. <laughs> Titanic mention, you guys. Yeah. All my fellas. Do 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 do. Let me guess. This ship is based on Titanic. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. We are sinking. So are you saying we have two hours and forty minutes to get the fuck off of this ship? So yeah. we can Well the way he keeps talking slowly, it's gonna be two hours of bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh he said he'll give us more oh. time. Okay, okay, good, good, good. We get nine hours. How many hours do we have? Nine hours from now? So we get bell. one hour in each room. Because there's nine. Oh. But does that mean one hour I means think it's like one person over by dead? The stairs. Maybe. Oof. It's the clock telling us the time. <laughs> we said the same thing. It rang nine times. So Why well, did? Nine o'clock then? I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. What a nice guy giving us more time, I know. Hey! 
You bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Huh. Oops. <sighs> hmm. They're all discouraged. <sighs> <sighs> Oof. Imagine being a voice actor, and they're like, can you just um, go in the mic and go, ah. <laughs> uh, way too many questions. Oops. Who is Zero? I don't know. I wish I knew that too. What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? And why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others. Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? Dude, I don't know, man. I just don't know. I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? I bet she's already played this game before. That, that's your, uh, prediction? Coincidence? Yeah. No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Listen, Hydro, people love their death games. They love their, their killing games. Standing around mm -hmm. here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! Well, no. But don't tell me you're actually going to do what this this zero says. Well, what else are we supposed to do? Just die, lay down and die? No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. I don't know, you guys. I just don't think that's, that's how it works. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush, though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. My theory is zero is Monokuma. Oh my gosh. Whoa! She's zero. She's zero and everyone there is her past loves. She's weeding out the weak to find who she really wants. My guest calling in now. Oh, oh my gosh. God. The wacky <laughs> theories. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. What the hell? I mean, it's saw one, submerged. the killer was in the room with them. Damn. True. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thing. <sighs> That's depressing. Thanks, Boots. Have fun cleaning. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Ah, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. Pretty sus. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This Can one we break too. down these doors? Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Listen, this person has to be rich in order to pull something like this off, right? Obviously, yeah. So this is just a rich person who is very bored and happened to buy a ship. <laughs> that they could just sink. people in. Exactly. Are these the characters' actual names? No, the only people whose actual names uh, that are listed are mine, which is Junpei, and this bitch named Akane. Everyone else is just, we don't know their names, so we're just calling them by characteristics. 
<sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man! Give me a hand! Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. Damn. <laughs> it won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Thank you. <laughs> Take a closer look. A key to the head and smashes the door with it. <laughs> right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. We need the keyblade. I mean, a key. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Doesn't everything mean something in this game? Like, I feel like everything you gotta note down and be like, that that might be a clue to solve a puzzle. Hey, He's look, not the brightest. Over here too. Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. Oh boy, what does this what mean? What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. Is that how you would describe this? This is the symbol of Saturn. Uh, no, but I wouldn't. Oh, okay, I can't. Well, okay. <laughs> She's like, um, actually, this is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. She, you, you would, you would know that. Then the mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on a deck. We did. I don't remember that. ADEC, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, and you guys stopped me from going up there. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There! The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. You know... The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents no. the prime meridian. Like, did I ask, no, though? I asked. Like, we don't oh. need to know what the symbol is to find, to, like, match them, you know? Akane's I mean, I'll... using big words kind of suspicious. <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure she's been her dear guy. Hmm. The ceiling. Because, like, why do you know that? Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. And you know what? She did come down after everybody else. Yeah. But we were also separated from everybody else, so we might be special. I wow. wish we could get out through there. Wow. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows too, huh? Oh my god, so dumb, Rumpa core. In other words, we're trapped. We're trapped. All <laughs> the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? Reminds and me we can of... open them. Ooh. Well, two of them at least. Who's he remind you of? That guy from Ace Attorney. <laughs> Edgeworth? Miles Yeah, Edgeworth. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. No, I can't blame you. It's the hair. Yeah. He's also called a prince. 
Listen, but you know what's bad is that, like he was the first person that caught my attention, and I love Miles Edgeworth, <laughs> so so maybe maybe it's just it's a type thing for me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, yep. Is any is any character calling your name, Kylie? Uh, uh, no. Oh, you mean the number doors? Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier. That's but a lie. I, think I know you're looking that. at her. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. Why? Why is it crazy? If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. Okay, and what's the alternative, bitch? <laughs> May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Exactly. Yes, we should like an hour. I'm in favor definitely. as well. This area looks really similar to the set in the Titanic movie. Whether or not that's based off the real one, though. I think well, it is. Fair. I mean, they did literally reference Titanic, so it, if it looks like it, I wouldn't be surprised if that was on purpose. Like, dome roof, two staircases leading into one, wooden decor, etc. No, I'm totally against this. Then don't help. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. She's kind of pissing me off. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Oh, we we lost half an hour. Uh, My God. Just like hey, arguing. Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Don't fucking call me that. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junfei. Okay, like why are you like stealing all my fucking business? We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Oh my god. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Thank you. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Zero's probably watching us right now. Mountain has a brain. What are you going to do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them, get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? <laughs> We're going to use code names. Code names. Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Okay. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's oh, a good idea. Going. All right, I'm gonna be Santa. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun oh. means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Sure. If then you your bracelet it. number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. <laughs> Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. <laughs> okay. I'll be Lotus then. Typical. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Why was that? I'm sure you all know. What? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I knew that, of course. <laughs> Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Oh my god. Eight. Throw yourself off this. Yeah, you got eight because you got... You know, flip, flip the eight over, it looks like two boobies hanging out. You might as well just call I it I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. <laughs> what? Wait, what, what is ours going to be? Oh god, I'm scared. <laughs> my bracelet number is two. Since Ace yeah. has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Oh. What? What? How do you know you're number two then? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe somebody told him? 
<laughs> you can't see? I knew it. Me next. I want to be Clover. Four, you know, yes. like four. a four-leaf clover. Good <laughs> luck, right? All right, my number. Wait, five. but everybody knows my actual name. <laughs> because fucking Akane blurted it out, this stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah. So my code name is gonna be. Oh God. Why well, have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. I don't get a cool name though. Oh. <laughs> uh, then you should all call me by my name too, because I mean, it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. And you're right. And they're right. Uh, What's yeah. your bracelet number? It's six. All right then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're oh, June. Kane. Oh my god. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. No. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. But I wanna know if like if, you know, I had a code name, like what would mine be? <laughs> Guys, what what would you come up with number five for number five? What's like an iconic five know. thing? One is ace. And two uh, is snake. <laughs> call me, nerds. call me Mr. Fist. <laughs> Mr. Fist. <laughs> <laughs> two is snake. Okay. Three is Santa. That's the worst fucking one. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight yeah, why is we Lotus. Just called each other by the numbers. It would be so much easier. Mountain's actually smart. That oh means God. eight of us have He's revealed our bracelet based. numbers. The only <laughs> one left is that oh, glasses yeah. guy with hair like a bird's nest. I forgot about this fucking guy. Yo, yo, why did he go? Um, bird you nest. haven't said a thing We're so nasty. far, have you? <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey. I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're it's nine? Shaggy. <laughs> shaggy. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm number nine. What's your code name? Uh, code name? I'd be like, no, please, can y'all pick one? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. That's how I'm going to do out. this. What are you what is he going to do? <laughs> Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Uh oh. Stay back. Oh, ah. shit. He's a freak. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Well, okay, so what is that gonna get you, though? What, so what are you, what are you accomplishing here? Uh, yeah, that's right. That big Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly, that's right, just follow me. Here, verify. <laughs> the left, look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. 
Do it now! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered it bracelets... three to five, though. That's only two people. ...and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door five. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly Aww. what to do. So he's Good. been here? Good. You're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes, I am. So? Then oh you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? But doesn't he now realize the all of them have to go in his numbers with four him? And one. Four plus oh. one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Uh, who? Who does he need? You, no? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Ha. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth nine. man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen... One plus four is five. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. You think it's gonna end after one door? Are you stupid? No, it was kind of small until that last part, but yeah. Good! I don't need you anymore. That's literally not true. You need all the people who scanned. <gasps> Wait! Here! She's all yours! <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye! Clover! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! I remember when Hydra was like, are these their actual names? And I was like, oh no, they just haven't given us their names yet. And then these were the names that we ended up getting. <laughs> <laughs> Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied! Lied? Oh, he's gonna explode. This, this I think so. Supposed to happen. Yeah, cause you're fucking stupid. This is wrong. This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Get me out of here! I don't know, fellas. Do we get him out of here? Ugh, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen, I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! 
It was him! He killed me! It was him! Uh-oh. Damn, I didn't think we were gonna lose somebody that quickly. <sighs> uh. A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Damn, okay, math people. What's the number? So he put in, we have to get, we have to, get to five. He already scanned okay. his, which is five. So now we have the choices of <laughs> one and eight, two and seven, or same. three and six. Santa and June. Santa and uh, um, June. Uh, you think you could give me a hand here? <laughs> hmm. Fucking growl. <laughs> yeah, why do you like... 5 plus 3 plus 6 is 14. The digital root of 14, 1 plus 4, equals 5. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. Dead you guys body. ready? We're gonna see a dead I'm body. gonna open it. We're gonna see a dead body. No, just the oh. This oh my god. Oh my god, but there's blood on We're the door. What a new! Hello! Hi. Good god. Oh, that's pretty bad. Well, let me see it. He. He blew up. No, let me see it. <laughs> no. Uh, June, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Uh, Her bag of mastermind tricks. All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, well, the guy's not dead, but he is the guy. Here we go. How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? Hello, Pidgey. Why? Why did this happen? I don't know, oh, Bestie. Oh, please. Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> this is the fucking wildest group of people. <laughs> Birthday bongs. Thank you, Pidgey. It's 10 o'clock, then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough <laughs> of this crap! Santa? <laughs> it's just, fuck! Okay, so they we all have bracelets, right? That have numbers on them. So, we didn't want to use our real names, except for me, because this stupid bitch blurted out my name. So, I don't have a code name. I just use my <laughs> real name, which is Junpei. Um... But everybody else chose code names that reflect their numbers. And his is three. And uh, in Japanese, San is three. So he's Santa. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Not Matthew being like, oh, that's cool. And Kylie's like, it's fucking dumb. <laughs> Have you seen this scar? Listen, it he's a hipster. He can't help it. <laughs> Santa swore he's gonna be put on the naughty list. Hydro, fuck. <laughs> That's funny. How long Actually, are we gonna Matthew. pussyfoot around like this? Mm -hmm. Oh god. Thank goodness you're here. I gotta go before I get murdered by my mom. <laughs> he tagged in. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. sticking <laughs> around, Kylie. Bye, Kylie. Bye. Bye. Are you Bye. ready to be the, be the new brains of the operation? Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! This is an escape room game. And you guys were like, oh no. We've only got oh, eight Lord. hours until this time limit zero was going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! Go! No, I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? Odd. But damn, Ugh. we lost the number nine now. Like, we can't use it. 
blood and pieces of flesh. Because the, the guy who just blew up, he was number nine. And who knows where that bracelet mm. is now. That's no way for a person to what die. What do you mean, Luna? It's right there and there. And there. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just screwed up. No, I think he was a, he was fucking screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap. Matt killed him. From what I saw, he immediately grabbed the kid first. I'm not going to screw knife. up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. Maybe the watch survived. Um, maybe. What <laughs> the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Finally, somebody with some fucking common sense. Huh? Okay. You still don't... <sighs> Alright. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Uh, Zero said uh, that only two people can go through, that everyone who verified had to go through. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. How did Edgeworth's uncle get in this game? Please, Kylie said the same thing. Kylie was like, he looks like he looks like that guy from Ace Attorney, and I was like, Miles Edgeworth? <laughs> no. <laughs> the ninth man. Well, they twinkle fight him more. Rule. Listen, and I'm eating it up. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. <laughs> Every time I see, every time I see Santa, he just makes this? me laugh. Why? Is it like the <laughs> tiny scarf? I see. <laughs> He's got like the fucking like 2013 like skinny spaghetti scarves that people used to wear. I'll be back. Okay. Right. This is Braille. <gasps> Blind people. Here, read this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Oh, that's how he knew what number he uh, was. It was written down here. Since you are not mm. blessed with sight... I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, 
We have a small bomb inside of us. <laughs> it's the bomb, baby. Wait, what did you say? It's the bomb, baby. The bomb, baby. <laughs> yeah, but won't I be able to shit it out? Yeah. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a bit more. Oh. <laughs> I ate my bomb. Mm. It was yummers. Oh, was it, Hydro? Yummers. 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 That's not a lot of time. What? Must also verify the numbers at the gate. Once all numbers have been verified by the gate, you need only pull the lever at its side. And the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the gate. That is to say, if you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the number doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You will do well to remember this. I forgot what was going on. <laughs> um, basically, if you don't follow the rules, you'll die. <laughs> okay. Oh, so we die. Once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, what acts like the world's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off or disable the detonator, the bomb within you will immediately explode. That's not true. I tried to force it off earlier and it didn't explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Yeah, we knew that though. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. Their judge, jury, and executioner. Maybe this is Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. <laughs> okay. Oh. <sighs> What made Zero think creating this horror show Be right game was a good idea? Objection! <laughs> Objection. All right. Hold I'm it. gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? There is a bomb in all of us. We're gonna explode in eight hours. Ow. 
Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. Yeah, me too. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. He was. I just want to do one more... What the hell? Escape room. And then we're going to switch games one more time, I think. Come on, guys. Give me something. You know, like, surprise or something. I saw that, too. I did as well. Me, too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. I don't know, that kind of sounded like he was lying. <laughs> so, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Huh? Now that's something I wasn't expecting. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand? She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? How old are you people? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Ah, uh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Zero farted, knocked all of us out, brought us to the Titanic, and fed us burger bombs. Essentially, yes, that's exactly <laughs> everything that Ugh. happened. Oh, hello. Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A multi-millionaire? A millionaire? True. Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. That's what I was thinking. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization. The Not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. The Future Foundation. <laughs> what sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. <laughs> it's a pretty fucked up experience. I mean, come on! A guy's <laughs> dead! Yeah, that was his own fault, though. I don't know who the though. hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. <laughs> I love when he says it, because he goes, he's pretty fucked up. <laughs> like, he winds it up at Fuck, the beginning. If this was all one guy, <laughs> then he's got some serious issues. And a lot of time on his hand. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is the talking! Descent of a lazy eye? What? Descent of a lazy eye? Man, I don't know, maybe. I'm tripping. <laughs> <laughs> talking won't solve anything! I think it can't it's... help us find our way out of here! I think it's just at certain angles. You really sure you oh, want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well, then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. 
Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Oh, also, while you were gone, we learned that Clover, this pink-haired girl, and is just brothers with some um, idea of how this all works. Snake, that blind guy. How the fuck? Yeah. He's the oh, older brother, shit. she's the younger sister. Bro, how old is she? Correct. What? I don't know, um, yeah, So him. long as we all follow the rules, that pink hair should, is uh, his sister. We will most likely be all right. Edgeworth looks like he's but... like 80 or like 60. <laughs> but what? Who's going to go in which door? I just hate her. She's the embodiment of everything <laughs> I hate in, in female <laughs> characters. Just look at this like the... fucking sprite. <laughs> I'm scared. Help. Help me. I'm scared. Like, oh, fuck uh, that's you. Right. We can't have any more than five <laughs> people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now. Don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. Lotus's Whoa. outfit is so ugly. I hate the colors being used more, though. If I'm going to have Wait, to walk to look through at all that again. blood, then I'd rather stay here. And we were doing so well. Ace is also VA for Ansem from Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man. Oh, God, I, I just bought it. these shoes. If you oh think I'm God. getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Then let's go into door I'll four. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? I mean, what is he gonna do, Clover? See the dead body? Oh, wow. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't like the color of her like tie and like skirt. Don't worry, you'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. Yeah. How do you know that? Because in a I coffin. Did. What'd you say? <laughs> I said they'll meet again in a coffin. Oh my god. That's not an <laughs> answer. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven and snake is two. And if you add clovers four in my one, the digital route will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital route of 14, one plus four is five. It works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait. What about the other four? What's their digital route going to be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital route be? Girl, four. I don't know. I can't do math. Four. Eight plus three plus six plus five is 22. So, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 wow. equals 4. You're so smart. Oh, you grimwooding in, you buried down your digital roots so will be in the dungeon next time. <laughs> oh. You're like, now wait a minute, this might actually be a good idea. It's 4. Add up our 4 <laughs> bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Wow, what a coinky ding. Then we can go into door it's 4. Like, it's almost like uh, Zero wanted that other guy to die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace, they would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Okay. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is... I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body. Why does there. she need to come with me? I don't want to put her through that. 
Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? Oh God. All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I, which door? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. June mm, Susanna let's spice stuff me. up. Like you want to spice it up? I I was yeah, just thinking we should go through four. Mm, but four is not a good number. Four what? means death in Chinese. <laughs> is that true? Yes, it is. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough, Ken. All right, you guys want to go through five? How are we going to rearrange the numbers, though? Hey, wait. I want to go through door five, too. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? If you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. Get away oh, from God. me. No, you can't. You don't want to push you remind me of now? With me. Who? <laughs> Fucking Sayaka and Danganronpa. Oh my god, you're right. That's and I don't fucking like Sayaka. Oh. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Why? We're well, you know what's in there, don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? Well. Please, let me go into door five. Man, now we're right back where we started, you know that? Sorry. The Junpei's voices in my head told me. Five, right? <laughs> they told me to change. If we are going to add Junpei, then we must subtract five from the rest of us. Ace, please, take good care of Clover. Oh, all right. That's, that's fine. Don't go away! You need to listen to me, Clover. Go to door four with the others. No! Don't be so selfish. What if I'm killing one of them by doing this? I'm blaming you guys if that happens. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just relax. I don't want Snake to die. Did you just see Ace explode in the back of her? <laughs> Bro, if, if, the, if Snake dies, I'm literally blaming you guys for being the devils on my shoulders. Huh. What did he tell her? Okay. I understand. Hmm. Let's make sure we've got this straight. Those going to door five are me, seven, and snake. Seven plus two plus five equals 14. And the digital root of 14, one plus four is five. And those going to door four are Lotus, Santa, June, Ace, and Clover. Eight plus three plus six plus one plus four is 22. And the digital root of 22 is two plus two, four. We're okay with this. No problems here. Yes. Let's do it. All right, then. Oh, God. The lever's all that's left. <laughs> if Ace dies, I'm eating a second bomb burger. Oh, God. Okay. God. All right, then. Let's go. Okay. Please be careful. We will. I like how we're like, no, don't go in there. And but we don't open. even know what the other one is. Oh. That's messed up. That. That was the ninth man. Oh. How can you. Well, do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Uh, sorry. Let's go! Ah! Uh. Damn oh it. God. The countdown started. Oh god, I'm scared you guys. Oh boy. All right, put your put your smart people caps on cuz this is literally do Shit, or die. The door. There's no turning back now. And if we don't manage to find the deactivation device. Hey, where is the dead? How the hell should I know? Stay calm. Look around you. Okay, okay. Uh, I get it. Ah, uh, found it. Right here. Oops, sorry, I skipped a little. <laughs> Uh, 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 
Well, it looks like it stopped. Goddamn thing's gonna give me a heart attack. Jumpy, are you alright? We're good. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. Alright, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. And they're gone. Now. Doesn't look like we can go any further this way. Maybe this wall can be moved. Or not. <sighs> it's not budging. Hey, there's a door over there. A first class cabin, huh? Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? I want to look at the dead body. Let's see the dead body. <laughs> I want right, to be then. like a hiker. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. I don't want to look, but... Oh, we're gonna look! Oh, oh my god. It's so horrible. I, I can't even tell what's what. He'd been wearing these. His bracelet! Let's take it! Yeah. The bracelet's off. Oh, wait. Zero did say... Yeah, we, we heard that. When you die, either when you get out, you die. When you're dead. Oh, but what the hell's the point of getting it off when you end up like this? Oh, just imagining how it must have happened. This was a human. Oh, you, oh God. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Honestly, kind of yeah, deserved. That? That's what I'm saying. Like, he tried <laughs> to, like, kidnap somebody and use them as, like, uh, what's it called? Hostage. As leverage, yeah. Yeah. So, you know what? He I got what he deserved. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, the voice acting in this fucking game. God damn. It's <laughs> wild. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, I'm gonna. I want to escape this room, and then, and then I think we should play some DBD. <laughs> Ooh. Huh. Huh. Where, where did they? Through here. Oh, Ooh. hey guys. Hmm. What's up? Check this out. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? I would assume so, Junpei. I would. So I would assume. Is there any other way out? We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door? Yes. We won't be going anywhere. This looks like a bedroom. Then the other room is probably a living room. Or the closest you can get to one on a ship. Alright, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. Oh my god, there's so many rooms. What the god. fuck? <laughs> we have to seek a way out. Oh god. Oh, okay, this is the layout. First class cabin. So we have the bedroom, bathroom, hallway, two little rooms and a big room. Oh. Um, okay, let's click this. A white desk. Feels kind of fancy. Okay, is there anything in it? I guess not. Anything under that pillow? Yup. <laughs> Score plate. I see. This feels like glass. A rectangular plate of glass. Is there something written on the surface? Yeah, it's a sheet of music with a couple of notes. Just A's? Yeah, that's it. Kind of weird, huh? Mm. What's wrong? You got weird all of a sudden. I heard something strange. Something strange? Ah, well. Never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. I don't wish to toot my own horn. But my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. Most humans. <laughs> I notice even the slightest of noises. Guys, Air devil, man. Alien. Right. Are you going to tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? And if you can, then what? 
<laughs> no, such a thing would be impossible. However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. He's a bat. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> when Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was... Hmm. Yes, I could hear it happening. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, really? Ew. You don't believe me, he do you? He said, fuck Care around to give and find it a out. Try? I must <laughs> warn you, you'll no doubt regret it. Uh... Well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, He said, I can we? and will beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> beat your ass. Okay. Let's turn. Door. Other door. What is this? It's a heavy piece of paper that's been folded in half. It has score printed on the front of it. Score. That's gotta mean musical score. If that's true, then the score we just uh, found was probably in here. At least at some point. This That's some sort of antique desk. Makes sense though, I guess. This whole room's full of antiques. You could get a nice handful of cash for all the stuff in here. Damn. Period, I guess. Somebody spent a lot of time carving the legs of this chair. It'll snap like a twig if Seven sits on it, though. Mind your own business. Um. You don't want to call him out like that. Damn. I get it. You're gonna use this vase, right? That's pretty clever, Junpei. We just gotta fill this thing with water. What? What are you talking about? Oh man, you don't get it? Just grab that vase and take a look around. You'll figure it out soon enough. Aww. Looks like a vase. Maybe you could use that. What am I... What am I missing? Oh! This. There's an iron grate in front of the fireplace. There's something behind it. Huh? There's something in the back. Let's see if I can reach it. Just a little... God damn, that's hot. You aren't real smart, are you? Come on. Of course it's gonna be hot. It's a fire. You know what? Maybe Seven is the most based person in this fucking game. <laughs> like, everyone looked at him and was like, Oh, he's gonna be like the stupid one. But like, he's actually been based the entire time. Like, huh? Okay. Let's... Leave. Well, the sink's clean. Any water? Nothing's coming out. We've got the faucet on all the way, but I can't hear anything. There looks like water in the tub. The bathtub's full of gross, cloudy water. All right, shouldn't be too hard to fill this vase up. Vase filled with dirty ass bath water. Yippee! Yeah. Is this your bath water in here? Lights, huh? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything hidden here. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or a tank. There's some toilet paper on the wall here. Nothing that looks suspicious. Eh. I've got a vase filled with water. It's heavy. I can't just throw it at the grate, though. I gotta pour the water onto the fire itself. What do you mean? Just do it then. Oops. What do I do? How do I get the grate off, do you think? Uh -oh. What is this one? Oh. oh. Score plate G. It's a rectangular piece of glass. You can see right through it. 
It has a couple of G notes written on it. Huh, I wonder what that means. This is a suitcase made of leather. The color of rich mahogany. Well, shoot. Looks like there's nothing in it. What about this one? It's a leather suitcase. Nothing in it either? Fuck! Bruh. Bruh. Now that's what I call a bruh moment. Stop! No, I didn't mean to click <laughs> it again. Fuck! Wait, there's a door here. Hey, Junpei, where are you going? Didn't we come out of that door? No point in going back there. All that's out there are locked numbered doors and a dead body or what's left of it. Yeah. Steal the watch. <laughs> Steal the watch. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. let's go. No, no, the other way. Oh. An upright piano. From the feel of the wood, it must be quite old. What's this? This isn't a score. It's a map of a ship? A map? There's a map of the ship here? Yeah. Then I imagine it will prove very helpful. You would best hold on to it, Junpei. Okay. It is now possible to use the map screen. Map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. Right? Uh, while on the map screen, you can examine a pl uh, 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 sure, yeah, whatever, man. You could use a map on how to it's on like, map you, can, you, you can use a map. <laughs> like, okay, thank you. <laughs> this piano, there's something amiss with the keys. You mean it's out of tune or something? No, no, not that. It's properly tuned, just... Well, the sounds are clearly purposefully different. The C key doesn't yield a C, but rather a different note entirely. The same goes for the D keys. They play some other note. Huh. Why do you think it's like that? Isn't it painfully obvious? Zero modified it in some way. This piano, you see, is part of one of the puzzles Zero has set up for us. Perhaps if we play the keys in the correct order, something will happen. In other words, we need to play a song on the piano. I believe so. Hmm. It's, t it, it's totally a table with a mirror. <laughs> Why did you say it like that? <laughs> No, that's totally. That's definitely a a thing. <laughs> Promise. It's just that, yep. Yeah? Ah, yes. You know that sort of thing is known as a vanity. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. I didn't ask for the fucking word definition. <laughs> As such, you could say that every day when a woman looks into one of these, she's staring at her own conceit and narcissism. What the fuck are you talking about? Damn. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? <laughs> okay, so thanks, I guess. <laughs> Damn. True, you don't see too many of these these days. I can't see the details, obviously, but I imagine it's one of those princess beds Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of these? Yes. She wants a princess bed. Didn't I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Ah, uh, Junpei, judge her appearances, will you? And, well, you should not. Okay, I know I already got one under there, but... No, I didn't mean to click it in. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please! Um... Doesn't look like there's any keyholes. There's a strange device in lieu of one. So this is the locking thing. It's flashing red. That's usually not a good sign. Is that a microphone? It looks like a satellite dish. Let me see. Hmm. Well, judging by the feel of it, I would guess that we are, we are meant to produce some kind of sound. 
And this device will sense it and unlock. Got you. Okay. I need... Oh, wait. Did I go in this door? No, go back. This door. There's a safe in here. Oh, shit. Oh. <clears throat> There's something here. Give me... Well, yes, yes. Well, this feels like glass. Rectangle of glass. Transparent, I presume. I can feel something printed on the surface. What is it? Sheet of music with some C notes on it. Oh. This safe is locked. It's one of those dial locks. It doesn't have a key. We'll just need to get the dials in the right place and it'll open. Did you find anything, Seven? Nope. Nope, how about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Let me check these. Oh, there's a leather suitcase? Nothing inside. What about this one? Damn it. Hmm. I feel like I've looked everywhere, what the fuck? Try, try combining your uh, music sheets. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Oops, I didn't <laughs> I meant to click triangle, please. <laughs> no. Fuck. They said we need something to put on the back for the sheets so you can see them better. Um, what is it? Closet, bed. I didn't mean to go back in here. Something in the back. That's the only thing in the rooms? I think so. Okay. Go, go to the other room. Okay. Shut up! <laughs> Listen, I clicked one thing. Go back to the bedroom? Oh, no, 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 go to, go to the other room. Oh. Wait, we didn't look at this that couch. Thing? Oh, that was where the um, glass sheets used to be, gotcha. apparently. This couch looks just big enough for three people. Wow, could, funny enough, there's three people right here. Oh, what? <laughs> looks perfect for me. What? Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. The couch looks a lot more elegant. Hey, there's something you aren't saying. Uh, never mind. It's on the wall. Uh, oh. Oh, right. To the right, to the right. Right there. Oh, no. okay, it. well. It looks like something you could click, but you can't. Yeah. There are a couple of lights up on the wall. Do you have to light the lights? Mm -hmm. Is there more rooms? No. Because this is the door that we went through to get into mm -hmm. this part. Okay. That's where the dead guy is. And then this door goes back to the hallway, and this door is like another little closet. cases and can't do anything with those. It was they they were empty. So you gotta be careful no. you're clicking in the right spot. Uh -huh. The vase with water on it and the three positions. Wait, maybe I just have to click the grate. There's an iron grate in front of the fireplace. There's something behind it. Yeah, well can you move? Yeah. The grate, please. You, you put said the I water can't... on the grate. It said Wait, I click the thing. Click the thing on the, the base? grate. A fireplace, Never huh? Mind. Don't see one of these too often. Aren't a lot of people these days with real fireplaces and real fires? Aren't a lot of people, Jesus? Because look, it's like the fire. just throwing the water at the grate fire. isn't going to help. I've got to pour it right on the fire. Do I just have to click? Eh. There we go. Okay, oh, oh my god. Yeah. Alright, time to put this fire out. 
About time, buddy. Let's do it. All right, fuck you, guy. He was like, what took you so long? <laughs> I'm like, well, you weren't helping me. <laughs> Hello, Rocker. <laughs> I'm back from baking. Did you get me anything? <laughs> we're in a fancy ass, uh, fancy as hell room. Oh, yeah, this room that we're in right now. Yeah, it is very fancy. Good job. Another success. That fire didn't stand a chance. All right, now we can grab our, our prize. All right, I'll just pull this out now. Don't want to get burned, so let's pull down the sleeves. Oh, score plate, here we go. It's a ceramic plate of some kind. It looks like a blank sheet of music. Now we need that be able to buy. Maybe we have to combine them or at you... the actual oh. piano. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Hey, Seven. What the hell was that? Are you all right? Are you good? Stand up! Yeah. It's not... Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy, that's all. What the hell is wrong with me? First memory loss, now I'm getting dizzy for no reason. <sighs> memory loss? Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? What would you like to tell us now? <laughs> I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. Aw, oh, thanks, Robin. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? Oh, yeah, uh, I guess that's true. They really said, Junpei, you're our leader, but also he's the dumbest bitch I've ever met. <laughs> Are you telling the truth? Uh huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you've really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure, I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Deck. But that was a while ago. I've had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. Can't miss what you don't know. After all, why worry about something I can't change? Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. See, now I'm starting to think maybe he's too good. And now maybe he's the mastermind. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. He first got that he kidnapped everyone. Yeah. <gasps> you might be fucking onto something. Oh? <laughs> Matthew, you might be onto something. But that's... That's and that's it. why that's why he can't remember. That's it. Uh, uh, All right, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. How are you fine with something like that? <laughs> Hello, Pidgey. Um, Pidgey, how's the brownies? I want brownies. This is so fucked. <laughs> music stand. Might as well put the music I found on it. I'll put the ceramic plate on the bottom and the glass plates onto... Wait a minute. What's wrong? Well, I put them all on top of each other, but they look odd. It doesn't really look like a song. Hmm. Then, in all likelihood, we haven't found them all. We need to find more glass plates. There's more? Oh my god. Fuck, dude, I thought I had them. Can I open this shit now? Oops. Like where else could you hide stuff in this in this place? <laughs> there? Man, this water maybe like I have to stick my hand in here. Man, this water's yeah. dirty. Can't see more than four inches or so. I can't see anything down there. Hmm. Do you think... Think what? Dude, I'm about yeah, to stick my hand in there. Drip. You can see it! You can see the little square! Oh wait, you you can! Right there. I can't see shit. What the fuck? It's like yeah. in the middle. <laughs> the oh, okay, filthy. there it is. If there's anything under it, I can't see it. Still, I want to be sure. 
Oh wait, the little drain by the hose. Oh. I think it's a drain. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. There's a plug on the end of this chain. All right, why don't we just drain the water? Yeah, good plan. All right, where's that thing? Good tug ought to be enough. Listen, in Saw One, this was a bad idea. He like pulled the plug on the on the tub, yeah. and it sucked the key down. So maybe you should have cha checked it before you sucked the key down, or before that you unplugged it. Huh? There it is. Oh. D. A transparent plate made of glass, yes. It's a sheet music with a couple of D notes on it. You think- you do, do you think that's all of them? I hope so. Music stand seems as good place to place any we found. Put ceramic and then stack. Alright, good. Okay, I think we got them all this time. Sweet. Now we can play the music. Junpei, would you be so kind as to play the piano? I am unable to, you see. I'm sure I needed to tell you, but... The keys on this piano are... Not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully to determine which keys to strike. Do you understand? Yes? Alright, let's give it a shot. Dude, am I gonna have to oh play the God. piano? I was gonna say, Kylie's the one who's the best with oh, piano. Oh shit! You guys are. Kylie! <laughs> I don't know what key this is. Okay. Okay, it's this one. Okay. So, three, three, four, three, four. Oh. And that was this one. Was it this one? Oh no, fuck! Okay, okay. Wait, what, um, what was it? This... Three, four. Was it? Oh, it was this one, it was this one. Yeah, three, four. Four, five. And then it was this six, one. Three, four, five. This one. This one. This one. Uh, this one. Four. This one. This one. This one. This one. Was it this one? Two. Did we do it? <laughs> and we're done. Music is not my fort. Wait! What was that noise? Junpei! We did it! Looks like it worked! I heard something unlock over by the exit. Let's go. Good plan. Stan. Bow. Be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. Ha ha ha. Yes, I suppose that... <laughs> that was the classroom bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine what Zero was thinking of, however. No, no. Zero almost certainly meant to suggest Westminster, not middle school. Westminster? Sorry. The place in London that plays host these days to the House of Houses of Parliament. Like, who the fucking just knows this shit? <laughs> You've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, right? <laughs> Big Ben plays that very collection of notes on the hour. London. Damn it! If only, if only Kylie was here. <laughs> God. The capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately, then we can switch games! Yippee! Ow, who bonked me? Hello, Pidgey. Let's get out of here, you guys! Alright, let's go. You found it! All my fellas! All my fellas. <laughs> do, do, do. All my Another fellas. hallway? Another hallway? Hmm. God damn. Hmm. hmm. That should do it. What's he up to? I was just putting one of those plates in there. It ought to keep the door from locking again. Now we can come back here anytime we want, right? Ah, why would you want to come back here? I might like to play a little piano. 
I don't know. Now, I, now I'm kind of feeling sussy of him. Piano. He's like, come on, let's get moving. We aren't out of this yet. Well, then. Like, he's kind of sus. It? You don't know. Whoever says we brought up, he might be the killer. Yeah, you can steal the lob with him now. <laughs> oh, I want to make more ghosts, but motivation is low. I'll do more as a late PD president. No worries. Take care of yourself first. I think that's where we're going to end. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. But is it really nine persons when that ninth person died? Or, wait a minute, is the ninth person actually zero and not the guy who is number nine? Oh, let's just let's cooking? just let's just think about that, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let me. How do I close escape? Yes, quit. All right, I'm gonna do a quick BRB while we set up DVD and whatnot. Yippee!